Hey guys, and welcome to a Jaeger task guide, Shady Business. For this task, what you're going to need to do is find three Fan and Ray secure flash drives and then hand them over to Jaeger. Don't forget to leave a like on this video if you find this guide useful. So when it comes to getting the flash drives, the best places to get them are in safes as well as PC blocks. They can also spawn in drawers as well as in ground caches, the hidden caches of the barrel ones as well as well as the airdrops which are a new addition to Tarkov. They can also spawn in the pockets and bags of scavs. So if there is some magical reason why your hideout is progressing faster than your task progression, you can actually craft yourself the USBs themselves. All you need is one broken G phone, one broken G phone X and one SSD. And that's all you need but you do actually get free flash drives with it as well. So I want to show you an awesome resource that will help you along with this USB journey. So here is Map Genie. So Map Genie is an interactive map for Tarkov and all of the maps. So we're going to go hit up customs to start off. Once we have customs open, the one of the best locations to actually find them, like I said earlier, is in the save. So on the left hand side, if we click on safes, you can see that there's one, two, and then five safes over inside of the dorms building. What I'm going to do is just show you the rooms that I loot inside of the dorms building. But when it comes to the safe in the Tarko's director's office, you should already have this due to delivery from the past. And then when it comes to the safe in the gas station, personally, I haven't really looted that. My main protocol is the ones inside the dorms building. Another great way of finding the flash drives are actually in PC blocks. Now there are a few inside of dorms, not an awful lot, but the best place in my opinion to actually get the PC um, spawns for the USBs is actually on interchange. So on the left, we're going to select PC blocks. As you can see, there is 42 of them. So a insane amount of PCs. So if you were to leave this task until you level 15 when you actually unlock Mr. Ragman, but then again, you need to get to level 17 because of the changes. Anyway, if you were to leave it to when you get round about level 17 with Ragman to start his task, you can come here and kill the scavs. But as you can see, just like so, there is an incredible amount of PCs right here that you can search. Also, you know, good old graphics cards are in these as well, as well as a few cpus and so on and so forth that you are going to need for tasks later on so we are now at the dorms building on the right hand side is two story dorms on the left hand side is three story dorms what we're going to do is enter two story dorms first of all and then head in through the little side entrance the first safe room is 105 and the safe is literally just here on the right hand side just there Next, what we're going to do is head into the main entrance of the two-story dorm. So if you have done pharmacy, you are already aware of this safe. But the first one we're going to hit up is at 114. Unlocking 114, the safe should just be directly in front of you, just like so. Turn around, the one with the note on the door is the dorm room 110. And just here on the right-hand side is the safe. But you can also get USBs on the bed as well on the mattress bed thing on the floor. Next, what we're going to do is hit up with the three-story dorms building. Coming in through the main entrance just here, what we're going to do is head up the flight stairs directly in front of us. And we're going to turn right first of all. Jump on to the bed and you can see the dorm room 204 right here with the grated um, door right here going through the main entrance. And then on the left, you have actually got the safe, which is the top one. The one below is actually just a weapons box. What we're going to do is go back on ourselves and head all the way down to the very end of the hallway. Just before you go out the door, which is the actual exit, as you can see right here, this is dorm room 214 with the four that slightly knocked down. Opening up this, here is the safe on the right hand side. The best thing about doing these dorm safes is you could just hit the car straight away and dip because you should definitely get enough rubles to pay for the car extract. 
If you are struggling with this task or just in general wanting to find people to play with, head over to prana.tv slash discord. We do have a decently large looking for group community as well as a Sherpa system. So if you just need a bit more help than normal, then we are there to help you. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe or possibly consider joining the channel membership where you can unlock early videos as well as a few custom rewards. Don't forget to check out Piranha.tv as well. That's a one-stop shop for all of your guides, tasks, keys, all those kind of things in one location. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful and I'll see you in the next video. And a big thank you to all of my Patreons supporting me over on patreon.com slash Piranha TV. And a huge thank you to Jay Dam, Freddy and Beansy. Without this kind of support, I wouldn't be able to do what I do.